Oh, mate. Oh, g'day, mate. G'day, champ. Mate, you'll have to excuse me two little friends here. They're bonding after Jono's little tour into the outback to discover his dinky die identity. Bloody oath we are. Anyway, mate, since these blokes won't be able to help you, you'll have to help yourself. Just have a little explore, mate. It's like being a kid in a lolly shop. G'day there, son. Glad you could join an old digger over a quiet beer. You know what today is, mate? Didn't think you did. Today's a very special day, Anzac Day. You've never heard of Anzac Day? Well, son, generally speaking, us Aussies aren't a very respectful bunch. We're not very religious, we can't stand our pollies, and we certainly don't respect authority. In fact, mate, the closest thing to a religious day in this beautiful little country, and the only day we are reverent, is Anzac Day. You see, son, Anzac Day, 25th of April, is the day Australian and New Zealand Army Corps troops landed at Gallipoli, Turkey, in 1915. In the end we were defeated. It was a gallant effort and 8,000 of our boys were killed. Of course that's only a fraction of the 60,000 Australians who were killed in the Great War and the 40,000 others who fought in my war, World War II. But it was our first real loss as a nation. Some say the POM screwed us over, but whatever happened, mate, it was this baptism of fire, this glorious defeat that brought us kicking and screaming into nationhood. You may not know it, mate, but Australia lost more men per capita than any other nation during the Great War. Any other nation in this world, mate. It's no wonder that those 100,000 dead Anzacs, 100,000 helped forge our national identity, those larrikins. Refused to salute the Pommy officers they did. Bless them all. Anyway, mate, today's the day on the anniversary of that terrible landing that we remember our lost mates and their sacrifices over a beer or two. The whole nation remembers, mate, and you should too. To me lost mates who died to protect Australia and its way of life, I'll never forget you blokes. May you rest in peace. You right, mate? Mate, if you want to get yourself a pig's ear down under, you've got to be a bit more specific. Now, mate, I don't know if you're aware of this, but the way you order a beer depends on which part of this great country you're in. So, mate, when the map comes up, click on the state you want to order from, and we'll take it from there. G'day, mate. Good to see your left head again. And your right. Just pulling your leg, mate. Ah, mate. Wouldn't have a spare map with you, would you? Sorry, mate. What's your poison? Mate, you're not in bloody New South Wales now, let alone bloody Victoria. What are you after? No worries, mate. Coming right up. Crikey, mate. You skull that bastard, quick smart. Up for another amber nectar, mate? Just click on the state. Ah, a Victorian, eh, mate? Aussie rules mad, no doubt. So what's your poison? Fair dinkum, mate. Leave the Opera House at the door, would ya? Mate, I see you've adopted the rapid ordering system of the Territory. Northern Territory, that is. Good on you for doing that. But in the little Bonza state of Victoria, people don't order beer by the colour of the tinny. Sorry, mate. Good on you, mate. You're up with the Melbourneian lingo. Those greedy New South Welshmen like to scoff down their beers with those oversized schooners. Us more refined Aussie Rules fans enjoy our pots. Mate, that didn't touch the sides, did it? Another e mate? You know the drill. Ah, a New South Welshman, eh, mate? What can I do you for? By crocky, mate. You either think you're a banana bender or a Melbourneite. Mate, that jugs and pots nonsense won't win you any favours in Australia's first state. Mate, I could have given you a seven at a pinch, 
but you don't even hear ten around New South Wales these days. Perhaps one of the old codgers would use it, but in this new century of ours, I just won't serve you with that order. Ah, oh, mate, you're a man after my own heart. Perfect size, a schooner. Mate, you were obviously in need of an amber transfusion. Up for another -y? Just click on the state, mate. Ah, uh, banana banner, eh? Mate, they're all mad as cut snakes up there. But anyway, mate, what can I get you? Mate, mate, mate. While you got the size right, you haven't got the lingo right. Queenslanders don't have middies, mate. I don't know why, mate. Perhaps they're all as mad as cut snakes. Good on you, mate. On the jugs. Everyone loves jugs, don't they, mate? Bloody oath they do. Fair dinkum, mate. You got that down, ya? Just click on estate and I'll get you another. A Territorian, eh? A real Aussie. Well, mate, what are you after? Mate, you're not in bloody WA, you know. What is it you're after? No worries, mate. It's on its way quick bloody fast. Mate, man is not a camel, all right? Click on your state and I'll grab you another one. A WA, eh, mate? Butte place birth. Although Cal's a bit rough for my liking. What's your poison, big fella? Mate, going for the light stuff, are you? Well, each to their own, mate. Good on you for knowing the lingo anyway. Mate, man is not a camel, all right? Click on your state and I'll grab you another one. Old this AA, mate. Don't see too many of you blokes around. What are you after? By crikey, my little matey, you're not in the bloody apple aisle. No worries, mate. You know, of course, that a schooner in South Australia is the same as a pot in Queensland and a midi in New South Wales. That means that an SA schooner is smaller than a New South Wales schooner. Tough, eh, mate? Ah oh, mate, Hobart's a beautiful little city. Big bugger of a brew there to keep everyone happy, that's for sure. Tazzy mate, state of champions. Mate, if you want to hear Cobby use in a fair dinkum way, then Tazzy's the place to go. They like the Aussie rules down there too mate, and you can check out old convict rules if you give it a go as well. Magic Melbourne mate. Melbourne likes to think of itself as a bit more sophisticated than Sydney. A bit more European a city. But then, mate, they've been saying that for 150 years. Got to bring your brolly with you, though, mate, if you go to Melbourne. Four seasons in one day. Or so they reckon. Ah, uh, sweet Victoria. Home to Wazzy rules, mate. Or aerial ping-pong, as some ignorant yobbos like to refer to it. Mate, did you know that Canberra is the capital of Australia? You thought it was Sydney, didn't you? Well, mate, some wags say that Canberra is actually the rear end of Australia. It's freezing cold in winter and boiling in summer. And it's full of boring pollies and public servants. But I reckon those bastards haven't visited the Australian War Memorial. It's smack bang in the middle of Canberra. And if that doesn't bring a tear to your eye, then you're not a dinky die Aussie. Ah, Sydney. She's a beauty, all right. 
mate, the harbour. What can you say? It's been impressing since 1788. Just grows on you, mate. And don't forget the iconic bridge, mate. Ah, the bridge in the majestic Sydney Opera House. Mate, it's worth a visit just to check that out. Mate, uh, if you're ever out back of Burke, then you're pretty well out whoop whoop. Mate, half your luck. You've clicked on good old Brizzy. Capital of Queensland. The Sunshine State. Lots of tourists seem to give Brizzy a miss. But if they gave it half a chance, they'd find it's full of icy cold beer and down-to-earth Queenslanders. You wouldn't be anywhere else, mate, and they'll show you a good time. Cairns. Mate, did you hear the way that I said that? Cairns. Now that you know how to say it, you'll have to visit it. You get a squeeze at our fair income beauty of a reef. Mate, poor old Darwin's had a bit of a rough trot over the years. The Japanese bombed the buggery out of it during World War II. Did you know they had subs in Sydney Harbour? Anyway, mate, if that wasn't bad enough, in 74, Cyclone Tracy flattened them. Yep. About as lucky as a bastard on Father's Day. Those poor Darwin bastards. Ah, whoop whoop. Mate, there's not actually anywhere called whoop whoop in Australia. Or to put it another way, most of Australia's out whoop whoop. Clear as mud, mate. Well, if there was a whoop whoop, it'd be about here, I reckon. Ah, oh, mate, you found Ayers Rock. The big bloody rock in the middle of Australia. Also known as Uluru, mate, and very much worth a squeeze, if you get a chance. Just watch your own carcass climbing to the top, mate. A lot of tourists seem to. Mate, it mightn't look like much, but WA is 20 times as big as England, yet only 2 million people live there. Most of them are pretty friendly, though. Perth. The most isolated city in the world. Most Aussies would like to visit, but it takes about five hours to fly there from Brisbane. Beaut little city though, mate. Friendly people, beautiful beaches. Perth has it all. Old Adelaide. City of churches, mate. Well, some even say a good city to bring up a family. Generally manages to keep a bit of a low profile. But I suspect that's the way they like it.